Hello everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar. I'm Sumit Singh, an electric motor expert at AMWorks. AMWorks is a leading provider of electromagnetic simulation software for electrical and electronic designs from DC to millimeter wave frequencies. Our products are embedded inside the most po popular CAD platforms namely SolidWorks and Inventor. They cover a wide range of applications ranging from electric motors, generators, transformer and power electronics at the low frequency end of the spectrum to antennas and various wireless circuits and components at the high frequency end of the spectrum. I request all the participants to please feel free to ask your questions using the chat box option and we will address all the questions at the end of the presentation. Here is an overview for our agendas for today's webinar. First, we will start with an introduction to external rotor PMSM and their advantages over traditional induction motors. Next, we will discuss the popular application of external rotor PMSM. Then we will delve into the, some of the design challenges involved in creating external rotor PMSM and explore how AMX solution can help engineers address these challenges. After that, we will examine the key specification and structure design consideration for external rotor PMSM, including the material used and the impact of design choices on motor performance. Following this, we will present some results and discuss the implication of these findings for different applications. We will also provide a live demonstration of AMWorks 2D, an advanced electromagnetic simulation tool that can be used to design and optimize your motor design. Finally, we will conclude the webinar by summarizing the key takeaways. Permanent magnets motor have been become increasingly popular in recent years due to their high efficiency, high power density and precise control capabilities. Compared to traditional induction motors, permanent magnet synchronous machines have lower losses, which means they can consume less energy and produce less waste heat, making them more environmentally friendly and cost effective. External rotor PMSM in particular have some unique advantages over other motor types. These motors have a rotor that is of course located outside the stator which can not only improve the motor heat dissipation, can also increase the torque density. The external rotor design also allows for a larger air gap between the rotor and stator, which can reduce the likelihood of cogging torque and torque ripple. In addition to these benefits, external rotor PMSMs are highly adaptable and can be used in a wide range of applications from electric vehicles, wind turbine to robotics and industrial machinery. They offer a high power to weight ratio, high torque density and low maintenance requirements which makes them ideal for demanding application that requires high efficiency. Moving ahead, the application areas for external rotor PMSM are vast and growing and they are widely used in electric vehicles robotics and aeronautics. These motors are also finding applications in emerging industries such as renewable energy, aerospace and marine application. Researchers and engineers are continually exploring ways to improve the efficiency and performance of external rotor PMSM. Some of the current research activities include the development of new materials, optimization of design parameters and the development of advanced control strate strategies to achieve higher performance and efficiency. Well, designing an external rotor permanent magnet motor presents several challenges that needed to be addressed to achieve high performance and efficiency. Some of the key design challenges are reducing torque ripple. Torque ripple are periodic variation in the output torque which can cause unwanted vibration and noise. Next, we have improving efficiency, which is one of the primary design goals for external rotor PMSM. However, achieving high efficiency requires careful design of the motor components, including the stator and rotor geometry, winding design, and magnet material selection. 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव अनवॉन्टेड नॉइज एंड वाइब्रेशन विच कैन बी प्रॉब्लम इन सर्टन एप्लीकेशन सच एज रोबोटिक एंड मेडिकल डिवाइसेज द मोटर नीड्स टू बी ऑप्टिमाइज एंड ऑल्सो अ वाइब्रेशन डैम्पिंग मटेरियल्स कैन बी इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन टू द मोटर स्ट्रक्चर टू रिड्यूज नॉइज एंड वाइब्रेशन नेक्स्ट वी हैव द नेसेसिटी ऑफ हैविंग लो कॉगिंग टॉर्क टू मिनिमाइज कॉगिंग टॉर्क द डिजाइन ऑफ द मोटर नीड्स टू बी ऑप्टिमाइज एंड एडवांस मैग्नेटिक मटेरियल्स एज वेल एज वाइंडिंग टेक्निक कैन बी यूज टू रिड्यूज द कॉगिंग टॉर्क नेक्स्ट कम्स द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग चैलेंजेस The design of external rotor PMSM presents several manufacturing challenges including the manufacturing tolerance of the motor component the whole overall assembly process and the need of high quality control during the manufacturing process and finally comes the optimization of machine geometry which is essential to achieve high performance and efficiency to design the motor components including the stator and rotor geometry needs to be optimized such that it minimizes the losses and maximize the performance so in order to address these challenges amworks provides a powerful electromagnetic simulation software that provides accurate and efficient simulation tools for electric motor design and analysis as a one stop solution for all your electric motor needs amworks offer a wide range of simulation tools and modules including magnetic thermal and structural simulation first we have motor wizard tool it is a template based motor design software that allows user to accurately solve both electric and magnetic problems it includes electrostatic magnetostatic and transient solvers equipped with integrated analytical and finite element based solvers Second we have AMworks 2D tool it is a 2D electromagnetic simulation software that uses finite elements to solve magnetic electric and transient problems it allows user to study the effect of the geometry and simulation parameters changes on the design it also allows coupling a transient magnetic study to mechanical motion and thermal and finally we have ems tool it enables user to do both electric and magnetic simulations using the complete 3d geometry ems is a true multi physics software that enables user to couple the magnetic and electric design to circuit motion thermal and structural analysis on the same model in a hassle free integrated environment so today we will be using emworks 2d to design the external motor topology for our external motor design we have specified the following topology on the given parameters the rated power is 100 volt having the base speed of 750 rpm with the input rated voltage as 12 volts the number of sl slots are 12 with 8 pole combination to achieve the desired performance and efficiency we have chosen a surface permanent magnet type motor design with having an external rotor the surface pm topology features magnet that are mounted on the surface of the rotor facing the stator directly we have chosen a full pitch magnet pole arc for the stator slot as a base design and further optimized our design we have selected a permanent magnet arc of 31 degree of our rotor we have carefully selected and designed the geometrical dimensions of the motor these dimension play a critical role in determining the motor's electrical and mechanical characteristics for our motor design we have used the following geometrical dimension as shown in the table the rotor's outer diameter defines the size of the rotor and is chosen based on the specific application requirements in our case we have selected a rotor outer diameter of 25 mm to achieve the desired power output and torque density finally the air gap distance determines the distance between the stator and the rotor part and is selected to ensure optimal motor performance 
in our design we have chosen an air gap distance of 1 mm to achieve the desired torque on the right hand side of the slide you can see the 2d design of a 12 slot 8 pole external rotor pmsm and it ex shows all the symbols which are used for the geometrical estimation we have also carefully selected these materials based on their magnetic properties mechanical strength and other factors to ensure the highest level of performance the permanent magnet used in our today's motor are made of neodymium and have remnants of 1.12 tesla having a relative permeability of 1.05 these magnets are known for their strong magnetic properties and are commonly used in high performance motor like external rotor design that we are doing it today the iron core material used in our design is AIS is a AISI 1010 steel this steel has excellent magnetic properties and can withstand high magnetic fields without saturation with a saturation magnetic flux density that can reach up to 2.4 tesla therefore this material offers excellent mechanical strength which is essential especially for withstanding the high stresses and forces that occurs during the motor operation before moving into the result section let's go through the quickly through to the emx 2d settings so once the cad model is sketched or imported inside a solidworks platform once the study is created the first step is to set the material then to create a boundary condition a kind of a magnetic vector potential around the motor then comes the assigning the force and the torque to the rotor or the moving part of the geometry then comes setting up the mesh either using the adaptive or manual mesh setting we can also apply a mesh control to different parts of the body then comes the winding configuration and the excitation setting for all the three phases let's see these settings more closely here you can see uh, different materials that can be used in your motor design and emx studio has a rich material library containing materials for permanent magnet electrical steels linear and non linear types then we have set the outer air as a boundary condition as a vector potential for our design then we have selected all the outer rotor region including the rotor core and the magnets faces which will be utilized for computing the force and the torque keeping the torque center at the origin and finally we have selected the mesh control for the air gap region and here we can see how we set the we select the faces for our winding setting and we have shown here the go and the return path for the a phases for the no load application Uh, analysis we have set the current as 0 ampere so to understand the magnetic performance of our today's pmsm design we have conducted an electromagnetic simulation using emx 2d software one of the key factor we consider in the magnet pole arc one of the key factors we consider is the magnet pole arc which refers to the arc angle covered by each permanent magnet on the rotor surface to optimize the performance of our motor we varied the magnet pole arc in 2 degree steps starting from a full pitch which is 45 degree for eight pole design until we reached the lowest possible cogging torque throughout this process we ensured that the magnet pole pitch was always greater than the slot pitch we have generated magnetic flux density plot as you can see here for each of these magnet pole arc configurations to visualize the magnetic field distribution in the motor these plots usually shows the magnitude and direction of the magnetic field lines in different region of the motor as we can see the maximum flux density is close to 2.44 tesla in case of full pitch design whereas the saturation in uh, in the rotor core has reduced to 2.19 tesla in case of magnet pole arc with 31 degree mechanical moving ahead 
a Kogging torque analysis was performed at no load. Kogging torque is an undesirable effect in permanent magnet motors that arises due to the interaction between the permanent magnets on the rotor and the slot on the stators. It is a pulsating torque that is produced when the rotor aligns with the stator slots causing a reluctance variation in the magnetic circuit. To, in order to reduce the cogging torque in our external rotor PMSM, we varied the magnet pole arc at different rot rotor position. By doing so, we were able to find the optimal magnet pole arc configuration that reduces or which produces the lowest possible cogging torque. So we generated a plot that is shown on the right hand side which shows the variation of cogging torque across the different rotor position for different magnet pole arc configuration starting from full pitch which is 45 degree up to 31 degree. And by adjusting the magnet pole arc we can observe that the cogging torque has significantly reduced in case of 31 degree pole arc. Now by looking at the average values of this cogging torque we can get a better idea of the overall performance of each magnet pole arc configuration. From our simulation we can clearly see that there is a trend which where the cogging torque decreases as the magnet pole arc is reduced. Moving ahead Back EMF is another parameter to be considered in the design of external rotor PMSM. It is a voltage induced in, in the stator windings due to the rotation of permanent magnets in the rotor. The back EMF waveform is a function of magnet pole arc, the stator slot geometry and rotor position. In our simulation we have analyzed the back EMF waveform for both the magnet pole arc configuration and we have also examined its FFT analysis. In case of 31 degree magnet pole arc configuration, the back EMF waveform shows a sinusoidal shape with uh, very little distortion, indicating a smooth and efficient operation of the motor. As the rotor position changes, the amplitude and phase of the back EMF waveform vary accordingly reflecting the interaction between the stator windings and the permanent magnets. As well as it can be clearly seen in the FFT plot that the 5th harmonics and the 7th harmonics has reduced in case of 31 polar arc design. Next we have the output torque of an external rotor PMSM which is another crucial parameter to consider as it determines the ability of the motor to drive a load. In our simulation we analyzed the output torque as a function of rotor position for both the design. To calculate the output torque we excited the stator winding with a peak of 10 ampere sinusoidal current. The interaction between the stator windings and the permanent magnet in the rotor finally generates a torque that varies as the rotor position changes. For the full pitch magnet pole arc, the torque ripple has 94.38% torque ripple. On the other hand, for the 31 degree magnet pole arc design, it has the output torque ripple of 17.04%. Another one of the notable difference between these designs is that the volume of the permanent magnet, which was reduced by almost 30% in case of this 31 degree pole, pole arc design. Despite the reduction in magnet volume, the average torque was similar in both the design. Therefore, it, the optimized design exhibits a high torque density and which is a crit critical characteristic for many applications. Overall, our simulation demonstrated that the choice of magnet pole arc can significantly impact the performance of an external rotor PMSM by carefully considering such factors such as output torque, back EMF, magnet volume, we can optimize the design of the motor to achieve the desired performance characteristic for our specific application. So here is a quick demonstration for our EMWorks 2D software. 
our products are embedded inside a SOLIDWORKS as an add-in so you can go to tools and click on the add-in option from here you will be able to see the products which can be activated by clicking at the checkbox option once these are activated the first step is to either import or to sketch the CAD model using the SOLIDWORKS manager once we are done with the rotor stator winding and all the design configuration the next step is to click on the AMWorks 2D manager for electromagnetic performance analysis. Once we click on the AMWorks 2D manager, a study can be created by clicking on the project. Once the study is created, we can assign the material to different components, create a boundary condition around the motor, apply force and torque calculation for the rotor part, create a mesh for the motor geometry and finally the excitation. In excitation we can choose whether it's a current driven or voltage driven and of in case of current driven we can either use a sinusoidal DC or even we can import our own custom uh, current versus time curve. Once all the settings are been done we can right click on the study and run the, the analysis. So let's look at some of the results. The results can be viewed in either in the form of table which shows the waveform or in the plot. In form of table we have flux linkage for all the coils. We have to simply add, we have to simply select all these parameters and add into the plot preview section which will quick, which will plot the waveform for complete electrical cycle. Then we have the other performance parameters such as inductance which shows the self inductance as well as the mutual inductance between the coils. Then we have the induced voltage for all the three phases. So since this uh, analysis was done at no load condition, the current excitation was zero. So th this is nothing but the back MF of the machine. Next we can look at its cogging torque so we have to simply select the torque and since it, it's run at the no load condition it will generate the cogging torque in our machine. So we can see the cogging torque is around point it's a peak to peak is around 0.8 newton meter. We can also look at its magnetic flux density either in the form of fringe plot, vector plot or control line plots. So here we have the magnetic flux density in form of contour plot. We can vary the time step and look at it different, different steps. We can also edit its chart option. For representation purpose we can animate it versus time also. We can also overlay the plot with uh, mesh, contour line or vector. Similarly we can look at its field intensity, current density and the force density and etc. So that was the quick demonstration for uh, the AMWorks 2D software. Moving ahead in conclusion our analysis of the external rotor PMSM has shown that the magnet pole arc design plays a crucial role in determining the machine's performance. By reducing the volume of the magnet by 30%, we were able to see a significant reduction in the cogging torque value. Additionally, the interpole design helped us to reduce the amount of saturation between the, magnet, between the two magnet poles, further improving the machine's performance. Our simulation has shown that the 31 degree magnet pole arc design is the optimal configuration for the studied external rotor PMSM. The design results in low cogging torque, more sinusoidal back EMF and fewer torque ripples. As a result, this machine contributes to less noise and vibration, making it an ideal candidate for a variety of industrial and uh, commercial application. Here are the references for our today's webinar. Thank you so much for attending today's webinar. For joining our webinar today. So let's start with the first question. So what should be the optimal air gap length in external rotor PMSM design? So the optimal air gap length of course it will depends on the various factors or the application and but we just need to remember that 
what are the effects of smaller air gap length or the larger so if you have a smaller air gap it will result in a higher magnetic field strength of course which will leads to higher torque and power output but also we need to take care that the smaller air gap can also increase the risk of mechanical issues such as rubbing and which will increase the vibration inside the motor so it is important to select an air gap length that provides a strong enough magnetic field for the desired performance characteristic while also it ensures adequate mechanical clearance to prevent rubbing and other mechanical issues and if you have your air gap length longer of course you'll get a less magnetic output but you'll be you'll have enough clearance between the rotor and the stator core so typically what i've seen in the normal design that the optimal air gap length for an external rotor pmsm design usually ranges from 0.5 millimeter to 3 millimeter another question we have should i design internal rotor or outer rotor pmsm well the choice between internal or outer rotor depends uh, on your factors such as uh, for take example of space constraints so in case you are limited with your outer diameter and you need to have a higher torque density out of your space available then outer rotor is a, maybe a better choice because it has a larger diameter and you can go with it shorter axial length compared to the internal rotor pmsm so there you can use external and in case if your speed requirement is the primary constraint then for such application an outer rotor may be a better choice as it has a lower rotational inertia and also offer a lower centrifugal forces compared to internal pmsm and then if just for example if you have a cooling requirement so in that case internal rotor will be a better because most of the heat generated are in the stator core from the current carrying coils so it, the heat dissipation will be better in case of uh, internal rotor so that but of, of course that's only for the stator side but in case of rotor since it's a uh, assembled inside the rotor uh, the stator core so there the heat dissipation will be through the shaft and it will transfer to the bearing and then rest of the drive system next we have for same power density what you will prefer in external rotor pmsm or axial flux uh, i think it's uh, of course the pmsm you're asking for there also so if you have to choose between an external rotor and axial flux and for this considering the same power density so well again it comes on the type of application but external rotor pmsm typically have larger diameter so it can be a better choice of application where the of course as i mentioned before the space constraint axial flux is also like the same it's a pancake type motor and compact design so it's hard to com comment in terms of space constraint in terms of manufacturing uh, capability i think the internal or the external the, the radial flux type of motor because external rotary is kind of a radial flux motor is more there in the market because in, we we had an induction motor from long time used in several industrial applications so the size of bearing for the shaft and complete whole assembly becomes easier in in case of radial flux motor design so i think in their uh, radial flux whether it's internal or external will be better over axial flux but of course in axial flux you can go with a dual stator or dual rotor which will increase the torque density of your motor so if you are okay with the manufacturing constraint then axial flux will have a better performance in terms of power density but of course uh, since uh, it's a, the assembly is a challenging theory in axial flux and it's uh, difficult to maintain the overall air gap so to maintain means in that case the cost of will be also very high in case of axial flux so that also has to be considered so in external rotor pmsm will offer you a simpler construction and ease of manufacturing so while axial flux will be a more expensive due to their complex design and manufacturing process so please visit our website and register for the upcoming interesting webinars and if you have missed any of the past webinars then you can fill out the form for the webinar recording request our team will be glad to send you the recording and if you have any questions or doubt for us at a later stage then you can contact us through our sales team or you can approach our us through the linkedin emworks user group page
and we'll be happy to come reply your all your queries there so well, i don't see any more questions coming up so thank you once again for all your queries and see you in the next webinar thank you so much